Hi, today I'm going to go over some of the shoes that are in my fashion show that I never actually um, explained how to make them. Um, one of them is the daisy chain, and one is the, um, I called it my uh, uh, alien princess shoe, and this one I called my, um, just the daisy chain shoe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the daisy chain. And um, it was one of my first shoes I ever made. That's why I never uh, made a video of it, because um, it was before I even started doing these videos. Um, but basically all it is is um, all done with uh, no sewing at all. And um, I bought a uh, roll of daisy chain ribbon. You can get this at, I know Joann's carries it, and um, I believe I've seen it at Hobby Lobby also. Um, this one's the white with the pink centers. It comes with white and yellow, white and orange. It also comes um, pink and purple flowers with different color centers. I've seen it with pink with a white center. I've seen it pink with a purple center. And this is 3 eighths of an inch. So basically what you need is uh, pick whatever color you want for your sole. And you're going to need six to go across your toe area because one's going to be glued under on each side and then you're going to need um, an inch and a quarter and what I did is I just crossed them over so it gave the shoe a little extra design and then to go around the doll's ankle, this is for an 18 inch doll, you need um, eight flowers and then on the uh, back two flowers I put on, I cut a piece of uh, velcro in the same size circle as the um, daisy and I glued it on but I also um, uh, used the thinnest needle I had and I actually sewed it on for a little extra strength um, and then for the um, side straps here I used um, oh, I think this is um, one eighth of an inch uh, the, uh, what is it? three millimeter, one eighth of an inch um, ribbon and um, that's about an inch and a quarter that you actually see so you're going to need an inch and a half because you're going to tuck down a quarter of an inch underneath to keep it secure. And then I attached it to the second daisy on, on both sides. And then the uh, one in the front went to the, um, the crossover, goes to the, the fourth and the fifth. Uh, ribbon on the uh, shoe, and you can see that here. So it's all hand sewn. I didn't uh, hand sewing. I didn't do anything on the machine. And then I um, just used um, the white cord for the trim. And this was Levi. And the reason I went with Levi's is because I made a I made a whole outfit of um, this Levi fabric. Um, I made it for the um, on the 18 inch doll size so I ended up having to take the whole thing apart and make it down for the 14, the 12 to 14 inch because the 16 to 18 was way too big for um, Dana, uh, the Journey Girl doll. So anyway I made this and I wanted to um, use the daisy chain and put it in the um, uh, on the vest I also made her a pair of Levi's and I put the daisy chain across the pockets that I put in the back of her pants. And then I made a skirt, but I didn't put any daisies on this. I just wanted to match the the fabric on the bottom of the shoes for her um, uh, skirt. I used the old um, Levi apron that I had that's been sitting in the closet for so many years. And it wasn't probably my better one of my better ideas because this Levi fabric was so old that it was very hard to work with. Um, it's just like there's no, it was just tough. So, but anyway, that was that, and that's the shoes that go with that. Um, there's also um, other types of uh, daisies you can use. This was um, something I bought at the um, Houston Quilt Show. It was four ninety nine a yard, and I thought, well, that's expensive, but I thought it was so cute. And then I saw it at um, Hobby Lobby the other day, and it was like seven twenty nine a yard. So I think I did a pretty good job getting it at the at the quilt show. But it's another example of um, 
of a different type of shoe that you can actually do instead of the daisy chains. Um, there's just so many cute trims nowadays that you can make these shoes um, just by changing the trim and um, come up with all kinds of different varieties. So that was the, um, that was the daisy chain. And then somebody asked me about um, the uh, Space Princess. I made this before, um, like I said before, I even thought I was going to do videos. And um, I didn't finish off the edges or anything. I was just playing around to see what I could come up with to um, something different. So I um, ended up buying uh, one of those kits that had all of the uh, gems in it with all the bling in it and I use that for all of the different um, designs on here. One thing I'd, I would suggest you not do is buy uh, your gems in a package like this. I paid uh, $4.99 at this, uh, for this and I got it home and I was so excited thinking I was going to love all these gems and I opened them up and they're all scratched. They're all the whole thing is pretty much useless to use. I, I can't even use them because they don't shine, they're all scratched up, and unfortunately I uh, didn't realize it and I threw my receipt away so I didn't get my money back, but um, this is a definite no-no. If you're going to buy your gems, I suggest you buy them in the little packages where you can actually see that they're pretty and shiny and they're not all scratched up like that. So I don't know, I'll give this to... Uh, I don't know, Goodwill or something like that, because I definitely won't be using these. Okay, so then, um, I um, to get this hard, this is just like the molded shoes pattern, that's why I really didn't do a video on it, because it's the same thing I've been using the um, yogurt, the yogurt plastic. Okay, and basically um, what I did was, um, when I did the, um, the blouse, for this, um, you can't do a straight across because you have to have a little curve in it. So what I did was I um, uh, figured out how much I needed to get around her leg. In this case, I um, took a piece of plastic and I um, put it around her thigh. And I thought, okay, I'm going to need an overlap so I can put in the Velcro in the back. So then, this is upside down. No, I have it right. So then I figured out um, how much I was going to need, and I ended up with six inches around her thigh, and I ended up with a um, go three inches in the middle, add a add a quarter of an inch. Here's your six inch, six inches, three here, three here. So then I drew a line down the middle, and I added a quarter of an inch, and I drew from uh, uh, line to line where it actually intersected, and I made a bow. And that's how you'll get that nice um, look around the um, without it being straight across, and it just won't fit properly. You have to have that that little tiny bit, only a quarter of an inch, basically, just enough to make everything lay lay flat. Okay, so what I did was I took um, just a plain piece of fabric. In this case, I just took white, and I. Um, ironed it to get all the wrinkles out. Let me, what did I do with the one I already have made up? I have already made one up. Oh, here it is. Okay. So then I um, just kept, uh, I glued it. I put the glue on here. I put it on the fabric. Then I folded down the ends. And then I turned one down and then I turned the other one down. But on the last turn, I put a little fold in the fabric like this. This is all glued and I turned it so there was no raw edges because on here I didn't do that I didn't um, and I've got all these raw edges that don't look very nice so when I made the shoes I um, started doing the the raw edges okay so then I did that um, so the first one here is a six inch you need six inches to go around and you're going to have um, velcro on every level Okay, so my Velcro overlaps by, oh, about three quarters of an inch on all three levels. See that? 
three quarters of an inch, and that gives it stability. And what I used for um, this strip going up was an old milk carton. I didn't have one to show you, but um, it was sort of like this, and what I did, the milk carton was so thin I was able to cut straight down, and then I left a little bit of the bottom down here, a little tag here, probably a, a quarter of an inch, so that when I went to, my fingers are dirty, I've been using glitter all day, I used the quarter of an inch, I was able to tuck that quarter of an inch um, underneath the shoe base, and um, then I determined how um, high I wanted that strip to be. In fact, I had to end up cutting it off. I ended up cutting it down because I had too much uh, plastic strip on the top. So, and anyway, and then I wrapped that in the same white fabric and that was um, my different layers. Okay, so this was six inches The um, this for the thigh area. For the calf area, you need about five and an eighth. If your doll is the same size, you have to check to your own doll for your, for the right size. This one here is four and a half, and the one across the toe you need two and a half inches to go across the toe, so you want to add another half an inch so you can tuck under a quarter inch on each side. As far as the trim, I used um, a trim called um, Sutash. I didn't know the name of it till a couple days ago. A friend in Florida told me that's what it's called. Um, basically what it is is a herringbone pattern and um, it comes, it's got a little shine to it. It's very nice. It's um, pronounced soft ash in uh, Canada and uh, Great Britain, but in the U.S. it's called um, soutache. And like I say, it comes in all different colors. Um, it comes in um, different um, uh, uh, widths too, because this one's really a, a very little one. Um, my friend, what she'll do is she'll take a, when she's using them, because she uses this for her um, Christmas ornaments. She makes beautiful Christmas ornaments. But anyway, you take a um, little, she takes a little line of glue and puts it down the herringbone so the stitch stays um, and won't ravel when you cut it. I didn't do that because that was the first time I've worked with it. I just glued both of my ends and then um, sort of just squeezed them shut when I got to the connection point and um, I didn't have any cuts in here so I didn't have to worry about the rest of the shoe. Anyway, I took my um, uh, plain white piece to put my gems on it and um, because you do have, because I'm using the yoga plastic, it does have a curl in it. So what I did was I um, took a piece of cardboard and I um, put my fabric on here with my plastic already attached before I add my velcro and I laid it out like this so I could just start gluing my gems. So basically all I did was take my gems and I just decided um, what kind of um, what kind of pattern do I want to put on on there and I tried on these shoes I tried to use the same pattern on all of them to give it a uniform look as you can see it's the same design on all levels and even the collar has the same pretty much the same design I started running out of these gems so I had to change it up a little bit but um, anyway um, also another option you can do is use just um, ribbon so I just cut my uh, piece out and I glued um, 5 eighths of an inch ribbon on here and I glittered it up so I could make that one of my layers if I wanted some fish. And here I have um, glitter that I um, put on just a, a piece of black and white ribbon. And um, there's just so many options you can do. This is that um, uh, more of the gems that have diamonds in the middle of them or gemstones in the middle. There's just so many options. Anyway, um, email me if you have any questions or put a comment down. I'll answer them. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.